Hey, what's up, people? This is a very interesting story here. I like to read for you guys. It's about the illegal gold mining in Africa. Now, this story has confirmed to me that black people, they don't learn. I don't know what's wrong with black people. But let's continue with this story here. Ghana, one of the world's biggest producers of cocoa beans, is facing a crisis that could derail its agriculture sector. Okay. Kwaku Osir grabbed his machete and trekked through the bush to his cocoa farm through winding pathways and hills, past ominous pits of muddy water and underneath the low-hanging canopy of dried cocoa leaves. But the trees were bare. A few rotting cocoa pods littered the ground, while other while others stunted pods refused to ripen on the branches. When the Chinese came, they told me that my plants were not yielding any more because there was so much gold under the soil, a seer said. After a few years of low production, he sold his 14 acres to a group of small-scale gold miners, also called Galamzi miners, with a Chinese, pro Chinese sponsor. The money is now gone. And a seer's land is poisoned. I'm assuming this is a seer. Kwaku was seer of Denkira, Asikuma, Ghana, visits the former cocoa farm he sold to the Galamze gold miners. He is among the growing number of cocoa farmers, seeing their production replaced with mining, which is often only temporary but leaves permanent scars. Kwakusir's story is not uncommon to Denkira Asikuma, a small farming village nestled amongst cocoa plantations outside of Donkwa in Ghana's central region. At least 30 cocoa farmers in the village have sold their land to miners who quickly excavated pumped in water and chemicals, and abandoned their pits when the work was done or when soldiers chased them away. Interesting, isn't it? Gold mining has always been a part of Ghana. From the ornate jewelry of the Ashanti kings to British colonization, in the last several years, however, Larger unregulated Galamzi mining has ramped up, due in part to Chinese investors who bring sophisticated equipment and a lagging economy that makes the prospect of striking gold too sweet to pass. These often illegal operations can result in contaminated water, deforestation, and a rise in violent crimes. This is the land that the Chinese left behind. I wonder if martial law, you know, Obsidian's favorite source, or his best friend, his best um, brothers from other mothers, know about this. What his people do across this land or across the earth. I, I'm, I'm going to do a piece about that acid rain in China. I'm going to dip my nose in Chinese business since they love black folks' business so much. Anyway. Illegal gold mining in Ghana further exacerbates a volatile cocoa market. In 2014, experts predicted a global, a global cocoa shortage by 2020. However, cocoa production statistics have been unpredictable since then, according to the most recent data from the 2015 to 16 growing season. That year, there was a cocoa surplus attributed to a prolonged rainy season. Recently, the price of the bean has plummeted to historical low, to historic lows on global commodity exchanges. 
negatively impacting the profits of West African cocoa farmers. Black folks don't learn. And with the decline of this economy, we have to, we have to relish the land. We have to eat off the land. Eat what you grow and grow what you eat and stop selling out your lands to these miners. They don't care. They only care about money, these miners. They only care about money. And notice it's these Chinese people because they are now the new colonizers. I said the Chinese people are now the new colonizers. Land is the basis of power, not money. This is why white people colonize lands. When you own land, you control the people. What's wrong with black folks? So now all the crop is ruined, the land is ruined because you sold the land to some Chinese people who came, they exhausted the land looking for gold, then they leave you with messed up land that you cannot farm on again. Come on, black folks. What's going on with us? What's wrong with us? You guys go read this for yourself, man. I'll see you guys later.